okay so first of all once again welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we are going to discuss ether channel so first of all we will discuss what is ether channel then we will discuss how many types of ether channel and then we will discuss how to configure ether channel and then we will discuss how ether channel works so first thing is what is ether channel so guys ether channel is a technology ether channel is a very popular technology which we are using nowadays but this technology is used to aggregate multiple physical link into single logical link you can write here ether channel is a technology which is used to aggregate which is used to aggregate multiple physical link into a single logical link or you can say ether channel is a technology which is used to bundle multiple physical link into a single logical link right so with the help of ether channel we are bundling multiple link right so s let me explain you with one example suppose we have to switch suppose we have to switch switch number one suppose this is my switch one and suppose this is my switch two and we are using four cable between switch one and switch two right we have connected these two switch together with four link okay and suppose the bandwidth of one link is 100 mbps okay 100 mbps so total bandwidth between switch 1 and switch 2 is 400 mbps 100 over here 100 of this link 100 of this link 100 of this link but guys tell me by default how many bandwidth switch 1 and switch 2 will use to forward data only 100 mbps because because of stp because of spanning tree protocol three link will be blocked three port will blocked so all the traffic all the data all the packet will forward it through this link only right so switch 1 and switch 2 will use only 100 mbps link between switch 1 and switch 2 right so that's not fair we have 400 mbps link but we are using only 100 mbps bandwidth because of stp so what ether channel tell us ether channel tell us that you can bundle these four link together you can bundle you can aggregate these four link together and ether channel tell to stp that guys this is not four link these are not four link these are a single link these are a single link right so what is the advantage of uh, using ether channel guys advantage is first advantage is more bandwidth right you can increase bandwidth with the help of ether channel and there is a redundancy as well so suppose if you will bundle these four link together right definitely loop will not form i will tell you at the last how loop will not form okay there will be stp as well there will be there is stp running right stp is running as well on this two switch right so loop will not for we are using four link right and if one link will goes down then definitely bandwidth will decrease bandwidth will be 300 mbps then but but communication will not stop right communication will is still happening so there is redundancy we are able to use all link yes so this is advantage of ether channel okay now question is how many types of ether channel how to configure ether channel okay second thing is types of ether channel so guys there are two types of ether channel first one is a static a static and second one is dynamic okay so in a static network engineer have to configure manually ether channel both side and in dynamic there will be some protocol so there are two protocol for dynamically dyna to configure dynamically ether channel between two switches or between two router as well okay so that protocol is known as first one is PAGP and second one is LACP guys PAGP stand for 
पोर्ट एग्रीगेशन प्रोटोकॉल पोर्ट एग्रीगेशन प्रोटोकॉल एंड एल एस सी पी एस टेन फोर लिंक एग्रीगेशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल लिंक एग्रीगेशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पी ए जी पी एंड एल एस सी पी इज पी ए जी पी इज एन सिस्को प्रोपरेटरी प्रोटोकॉल एंड एल एस सी पी इज एन ओपन स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल सो सपोज वी हैव टू स्विच एंड बोथ आर सिस्को स्विच सो यू कैन कन्फिगर पी ए जी पी राइट वी कैन यूज पी ए जी पी प्रोटोकॉल टू बंडल दिज लिंक टूगेदर राइट एंड इफ सपोज वी हैव वन वन सिस्को स्विच एंड वन नोकिया स्विच एंड एनी अदर वेंडर स्विचेस देन यू कैन कन्फिगर पी ए जी पी देन यू यू हैव टू कन्फिगर एल ए सी पी प्रोटोकॉल और यू कैन मैनुअली बंडल मल्टीपल लिंक्स टूगेदर ओके सो दिस इज How many types of Ether channel? There are two types of Ether channel: static, dynamic. In dynamic, there are two protocol. First one is PAGP, and second one is LACP. PAGP is a Cisco proprietary protocol, and LACP is a link aggregation control protocol. Working of these two protocol are same. Working of these two protocol are exactly same, right? Now, guys, let me discuss some modes of Ether channel before configuring modes of इथर चैनल फर्स्ट मोड इज ऑन सेकेंड मोड इज ऑटो थर्ड मोड इज डिजायरेबल फोर्थ मोड इज एक्टिव एंड फिफ्थ मोड इज पेस पैसिव ओके सो ऑन मोड मीन्स यू आर कंफिगरिंग इथर चैनल मैनुअली राइट स्टैटिक इथर चैनल मोड इज ऑन मैनुअल मैनुअल configuration auto and desirable means you are using pagp protocol pa gp protocol and active and passive mode means you are using lacp protocol okay now guys a desirable and auto right what is you what is the meaning of auto mode and what is the meaning of desirable mode so desirable is similar to uh, dynamic desirable in dtp right so डिजायरेबल मोड विल ऑलवेज स्टार्ट इनिशिएट नेगोशिएशन राइट और स्टार्ट नेगोशिएशन राइट फॉर इथर चैनल फॉर बंडलिंग मल्टीपल लिंक एंड ऑटो विल ऑलवेज लिस्टन ऑटो मोड विल ऑलवेज लिस्टन राइट इन द सेम वे पैसिव विल ऑलवेज इनिशिएट द नेगोशिएशन एंड एक्टिव स्टेट एक्टिव मोड विल ऑलवेज लिस्टन वेट फॉर राइट सो मीन्स यू कैन से If I talk about desirable, so desirable can negotiate, negotiate as well as reply. Okay. If I talk about auto, so auto mode can only reply, right? And if you uh, if you, uh, we will talk about active, so active can again negotiate as well as reply. And if I talk about passive, so passive can only reply. Okay. So. Suppose we have two switch, switch one and switch two. Suppose there is two link. I want to bundle these two link together. So if mode is on over here, then you have to configure on mode on over here as well, right? If you will configure on mode and then you if you will run protocol on other side, then ether channel will not form. Okay? So on on ether channel will. for okay okay now if you will if your mode is desirable and here desirable as well right ether channel will form because desirable mode will always initiate and can reply as well right so this will also initiate for ether channel and over here also initiate for ether channel and they they can reply as well but auto and auto can never form ether channel between two switches right so, and desirable and auto can form ether channel right because if you will configure desirable on over here and if you will configure auto over here so desirable will initiate and auto will reply ether channel will form now third is 
fourth fourth fifth is active and active again active can initiate as well as reply so ether channel will form if i talk about active and passive again ether channel will form because active can initiate the negotiation but passive passive can't form ether channel passive passive can't form so you can't define auto auto and passive passive okay otherwise uh, you can use desirable auto active 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 passive desirable desirable and on on as well you can't say on and desirable okay so if you are configuring manually then both side you have to configure manually okay now let me show you guys how to configure ether channel okay so let me open packet tracer and suppose here we have some switch and there are some requirement of ether channel as well like a speed must match right duplexy must match and vlan must match right so if you are aggregating if you are bundling eight link together so a speed of this eight link will be same the uh, all the interfaces all the ports are member of same vlan native vlan must be same and duplex must be same so if port number 1 is work on full duplex so all ports have to work on full duplex then only you can configure ether channel okay now let me show you how to configure so suppose we have four link let me zoom it from interface 1 to interface 4 okay so first of all let me show you guys how to configure so go to global configure mode after that interface range range fast ethernet 0/1 2 4 right 0/124 after that you need to create one channel group so channel command is channel group and after that uh, group number suppose i am using group number 1 or you can use 1 2 6 any number okay group number is 1 after that you can see mode and now you can see mode is active auto desirable on and passive so now i am configuring manually manually right so mode is on so other hand other side we have to configure on mode then only then only this this four link will bundle together so here also we need to run same command enable global configure mode interface fast ethernet 0 slash interface range range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 2 am i right after that channel group 1 and mode is on okay now how to verify it how we can verify so ether channel summary right so there is one port and these port are member of this port channel this is my channel right okay now you can see just wait for some time after that you will see all link will be in forwarding state okay let me move in yes now you can see all the link are in forwarding state right so actually what is happening over here whenever now suppose how loop will not form suppose here is one pc okay and here is one more pc suppose the ip address of this pc is 10.1 ip address of this pc is 10.2 suppose now if this machine will generate a broadcast message right so suppose source mac is 0a and destination mac is all f okay this 
this traffic will receive by switch switch will forward this broadcast message to any of the interface which are member of port channel 1 they will forward this packet only on one interface of a port channel group right so suppose this switch will forward this 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 frame on fast ethernet zero slash one so it will not send to any other port because fast ethernet zero slash one is member of which port channel port channel one so switch two will not forward the same packet to the any interface who is member of same port channel who is member of same port channel right and when this switch will receive this broadcast message again this switch will check okay i have received this broadcast message on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 1 is member of port channel 1 so i will not forward this broadcast message to the interface which is member of port channel 1 okay so this is how ether channel works okay so now if you want to configure uh, protocol right suppose let me run no over here no and now if i want to uh, configure ether channel by protocol using pagp so so channel after that group one and mode desirable okay desirable and auto means you are you you are configuring pagp okay and active and passive means you are configuring so you can see if i will if i will wait for some time you can see this this all port are in blocking state right these all port are down why because here i am using mode desirable and here mode auto so let me change here as well so here i can configure auto mode as well interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 2 3 and no channel channel group 1 mode okay channel group one mode auto so ether channel summary wait you can see all port are in forwarding state right so this is how you can configure ether channel okay so you can configure active mode as well passive mode as well right but remember if you are configuring pagp so once one end you have to configure desirable mode okay if you are using if you are configuring lacp you have to configure one side active mode okay then only third channel will form between these two switch okay so this is all about today guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel thanks for watching bye bye